Hello again. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chris from A Different Approach Tuition Limited, also known as Adapt Tuition. So yesterday uh, was my first day uploading to YouTube. I made a video on how to approach um, creating control accounts using Incomplete Records. And it was since brought to my attention that Incomplete Records is no longer on the POA syllabus for CSEC. So I just want to say sorry about that. Um, honestly, it was an oversight on my part. I did get the new syllabus a couple months ago uh, when I heard there were new topics on it. Uh, the cash projections for six months, the sales and production budgets, oh, those videos are coming, by the way. Um, but I was so focused on looking for the new topics, I didn't look to see what they took out. All right, so, right, so yes, yeah, so incomplete records is, not, is no longer on the syllabus, right? However, there are some things from this question that I can still do, which will still be of value. And of course, I do have many more questions to bring for you, solutions to bring for you. Okay, so even though the control accounts from this question were very stripped down, they would provide a basic understanding about what goes where um, in a very minimal capacity, right? What I want to show you guys how to do today is how to create, how to prepare expense accounts where you have opening and closing accrued or prepaid balances and a figure from the, the cash book or the, um, in this case, bank account, right? So that is definitely still on your syllabus. I will make sure to find um, the specific objective, uh, the section number and put it somewhere on this side or this side, right? So you guys can take a look just to make sure I am correct in what I'm saying, all right? Anyhow, so let's get to some accounting, shall we? So George did not maintain a complete set of accounting records. Now, what we want to do today is do the T accounts for the prepaid telephone, the insurance owing, and the general expenses to figure out the amounts that go in the income statement, right? So first things first, what information do we have in the question pertaining to, and let's go with telephone first, right? So telephone, we are told it's prepaid. We have a balance at start, a balance at end, both prepaid unless otherwise specified. Also, if we look up in the credit column for the bank account, we have telephone, so we have an amount paid. So what we do, let's go across on this side, head up, telephone expense, whoops, not EC, right? Expense account. All right, so now a prepaid expense is classified as a current asset. Why? Because if we pay something in advance, we are either owed a refund or the delivery of that service. And long story short, once we are owed a benefit that we can, that we can reasonably expect to receive in the foreseeable future, that benefit is classified as an asset, right? And of course, in this case, we expect to receive that benefit within a month, maybe two. So it's definitely gonna be a current asset. And what type of balance does the current asset have? It has a debit balance, all right? So we're gonna put balance brought down, and that amount was $1,000, right? Now, some people like to put prepaid balance at start, prepaid balance brought down, all those things are fine. They all mean the same thing. Okay. Now, we also have a prepaid balance at end. Now, that's going to be brought down on the debit side at the start of the following period. But before you can be brought down on the debit side, you have to first be carried down from the credit side. That amount was $1,400. Right. Now, the last piece of information we have to put inside of here will come from telephone. Sorry, will come from the bank account. The telephone figure um, represents the amount paid. So if it's on the credit side and the bank account, it's going to be on the opposite side in the telephone account, which is the debit side. So we're just going to put bank. We're going to put 8,000 as a big telephone bill boy. Now, the balancing figure will be the income statement figure. Now, some of you guys are still using profit and loss. That's fine. As far as I'm concerned, they mean the same thing. And there's no reason to get all up in a twist because you're using one as opposed to the other. Really and truly, they're trying to push towards using income statement as opposed to profit and loss. So that transition will take some time. Okay, they can't expect it to happen very, very soon. So how are we gonna find this figure here? So, so yeah, I was talking about something else while I was doing it, right? Um, we have to take the total on this side and minus the balance carried down here, right? So all we have to do now is that. There you go, all right? So, whoops, 
Yeah, so like I like to highlight and bold my stuff so it stands out more. So that way we, we know from looking at the question what we will try to find in the first place, right? Now, of course, that's not an option for you in your exam, so please don't walk with a gray highlighter and write in bold and italics. Uh, that's not regulation, okay? All right, next thing. So that was the telephone expense, right? Now, we have insurance owing. Now, another, another word used in place of owing is accrued. An accrued expense is an expense that has not yet been paid, even though it was incurred. And notice the difference between the words. Accrued, incurred, right? To incur an expense means to bring it into existence and therefore to owe that amount, right? If you were to go into a taxi or a maxi, whatever it is you guys travel in, right? And the, the fee or the fare is $5 from start point to end point. Once you sit down in that maxi and you ride from beginning to end, you have incurred an expense and you need to pay it, right? So the expense has been incurred regardless of whether or not it has been paid. Okay, now, if it's owing, it means we owe somebody something. But how do we classify anything we owe to any entity other than the owner? A liability, all right? So first of all, let's, um, let's head up insurance expense, oops, all right, let's account. And liabilities have credit balances at start, all right? So we're gonna put balance brought down, sorry, that equals, um, that's 5,000, all right? Back across here now, insurance is still owing at the end. It's even it's owing even more at the end. So it means we didn't pay enough to even cover what was owed this period, right? So that's balance carried down. That'll be 8,000. And of course, yes, this is on the debit side, but that is being carried down from the debit side and will be brought down on the credit side. Okay, so what's missing here? We have, okay, do we have any payments with respect to insurance? Yes, we do, 6,000. Okay, cool. So that's the bank figure, Six. Thousand. Whoops. And of course, the missing figure will be the income statement figure. Right. And that'll be the difference. It'll be the balancing figure. Right. So, like I said, even though the topic of income records is no longer on the syllabus, being able to do up expense accounts to find missing figures still is on the syllabus. Is still on the syllabus. So, even though this topic itself is not no longer there, we can still use questions like this to prepare for doing questions like these, all right? Okay, so I've done the two accounts. Um, oh, we have one more. We have general expenses owing. So we have another expense owing. Let's head up, let's head up, yeah. General expenses account. Okay, so it's owing at start, which means it's a current liability, which means it's going to have a credit balance at start. So balance brought down, that's going to be equal to 1800. It's owing at the end as well. That's balance carried down from the debit side. That's going to be 3,000. Um, <clears> the <throat> bank, do we have any payments? Yes, general expenses. That's 15,000. Wow, that's a lot. And the balancing figure will be the income statement figure, which will be the difference, the balancing figure between here and here. All right, so what do we do? We balance off and uh, we get 16,200 in respect of that okay guys so so there you have it right so um what we've done today is we've taken a look at an incomplete records question which yes is no longer on the syllabus but we've used it to help us practice preparing t accounts for expense items that have accrued or prepaid balances at the end or at start in order to find missing figures primarily in this case the income statement figure right the expense figure all right guys so um uh, I hope this video was helpful. If you did find it helpful and you like how it's presented, um, hit that like button. You know, If you want to subscribe, please feel free to do so. If you want to share this video, I would appreciate it if you did that as well. Right? So, till next time, thanks for watching.